Hello, good morning. Uh, today I would like to explain about pyrometers. So pyrometer is a device that is used for measurement of an object. So pyrometer is a one of the temperature measurement transducer. This will measure the temperatures between the range of 700 degrees to 2500 degrees centigrade. So whenever if you are measuring higher temperatures, so this pyrometer is more useful. So measuring molten metals, uh, this is used for measuring furnace temperatures, uh, measuring liquid uh, casting and liquid alloys of temperatures. So normally for measuring higher temperatures, pyrometers are normally we are using. So in the last class we discussed there are two types of pyrometers. One is uh, radiation pyrometer, the second one is optical pyrometer okay so in this radiation pyrometers to measure the temperatures uh, in the range of 700 degrees to 2000 degrees centigrade there is optical pyrometers it measures the temperatures from uh, 700 degrees centigrade to 2500 degrees centigrade okay so the pyrometer is a device it is used for measurement of temperatures of an object so the device actually tracks and measures the amount of heat that is radiated from a heat source or an object the thermal heat radiation from the object to the optical system presents inside the pyrometer okay so special arrangement we are using to measure the temperatures in terms of brightness the optical system makes the thermal radiation into the better focus and passes to a detector okay so here so there are uh, let's see how the optical pyrometer normally are the system optical pyrometer system is looks like this okay so this is the arrangement so here so this is the temperature source and this one is uh, optical uh, pyrometer system so what are the main components in it is uh, one is the outside there is a temperature source or radiation source the temperature whose temperature is to be measured so in in one uh, arrangement you are placing a, a glass bulb with filament and lenses and other side observer through eyepiece you observe the uh, radiation brightness of a filament we are observing so the main principle of operation of uh, optical pyrometer is if the brightness of radiation zone by seeing to measure the temperatures by seeing the brightness of the radiation zone uh, the brightness of uh, is more the temperature is also more the brightness of radiation zone is less the temperature is less means we can find the temperature in terms of brightness so measuring the uh, brightness of radiation uh, it is an index of to measure the temperature of a radiation or heated zone okay so these are the uh, circuit arrangement of optical pyrometer so let's see uh, what are the importance of each and every component we'll discuss now okay so first all of you draw the circuit diagram and this uh, circuit arrangement so these are the main components of optical pyrometer so as shown in figure above the optical pyrometer has the following components so at the left side of the diagram is the eyepiece at the left side and an optical lens on the right side okay a reference lamp which is powered with the help of battery so the filament is connected to the battery system uh, so here a rheostat is normally using rheostat to change the current hence the brightness intensity is changing by adjusting the rheostat so how much am amount of temperature is focused on the radiation zone through this arrangement uh, to measure the voltage directly okay uh, so so to increase the temperature range which is to be measured at the observer screen is fitted between the optical lens and the reference bulb so there are two filters 
वन इज अब्जर्विंग फिल्टर द अदर वन इज रेड फिल्टर सो द रेड फिल्टर इज अब्जर्व द रेड लाइट फ्रॉम द टू द अब्जर्वर एंड द अब्जर्वेशन फिल्टर इज नथिंग बट टू अब्जर्व द स्क्रीन इज फिटेड बिटवीन द ऑप्टिकल लेंस एंड रेफरेंस बल्ब टू ऑब्जर्व द हीट रेडिएशन फ्रॉम द हीटिंग सोर्स सो वॉट इज द वर्किंग फंक्शन ऑफ दिस ऑप्टिकल पैरोमीटर एट सी सो द रेडिएशन फ्रॉम द सोर्स इज एमिटेड एंड द ऑप्टिकल ऑब्जेक्ट लेंस इज कैप्चर द रेडिएशन ओके द लेंस हेल्प इन फोकसिंग द थर्मल रेडिएशन ऑन द रिफरेंस बल्ब ओके द लाइट रेडिएशन इज फॉलोइंग ऑन टू द रेफरेंस बल्ब सो द बल्ब इंटेंसिटी इज इंक्रीजिंग इन टू वेज वन इज टू चेंज द रेजिस्टेड आर वोल्टेज अक्रॉस द सर्क्यूट एंड द रेडिएशन थर्मल रेडिएशन फोकस ऑन फ्रॉम द थ्रू द स्क्रीन ओके द अब्जर्वर वॉचेस द प्रोसेस थ्रू द आई पीस एंड करेक्ट इट सच ए मैनर दट द रेफरेंस बल्ब फिलमेंट हैज शॉर्ट फोकस and the filament is superimposed on the temperature source image the observer start changing the rheostat values and the current in the reference lamp changes so this in turns change in the its intensity okay so this change in current can be observed in three ways normally in three ways we are observing the change in the filament one is uh, so the filament is dark means what is the meaning is the filament is dark means the cooler than the temperature source means the filament is dark means uh the temperature source is less so the temperature is less so that that cooler than the temperature source when the filament is dark it, so it observes more temperature so this cooler than the temperature source when the filament is bright in case 2 it is hotter than the temperature source when the filament appears bright from the eye piece so what we observed the condition is hotter than the temperature source means uh, more brightness you are observing means the temperature is less in the third case filament is disappear means there is equal brightness between the filament and temperature source so the temperature source from the radiation zone is equal to the brightness of the filament by the time the filament is disappear from the observer so in the three cases we observed from the optical pyrometer from the observer okay <clears throat> by measuring the brightness temperature directly you are measuring in terms of voltages okay so in the three cases Oh, so, so by by, by the filament you are observing in three cases. Uh, one is cooler than the temperature. The filament is bright. In the third, second case is filament is dark means it is cooler than the temperature source. Filament is bright means hotter than the temperature source. And the filament is disappear from the observer. It means the brightness between the filament and temperature source are equal. okay in three ways you are observing the filament okay in terms of brightness to measure the temperatures directly okay so what are the applications uh, for this uh, optical pyrometer is uh, normally for measuring the temperatures more than 700 uh, degree centigrade so to measuring the molten metals it is used for measuring the uh, liquid furnaces and liquid uh, alloys measuring the molten metals so like that for measuring any higher temperatures so this this pyrometer is more useful the advantages the advantages if you see uh, so it is no contact physical contact between the instrument and the measuring uh, temperature source that is one advantage the accuracy is very high that is plus or minus 5 degrees centigrade <clears throat> so the main advantage is here is the instrument you are placing any distance okay so it can uh, the instrument can easily operate so when the heat source is uh, far from the system okay so one biggest advantage of this device is that there is no direct contact between the pyrometer and the object whose temperature is to, 
is to be found out. So that is the reason the other name of uh, optical pyrometer is contactless pyrometer also. Okay. So the disadvantage is normally what well, the limitations. Uh, let if you see uh, the device is not useful for obtaining continuous values of temperatures at smaller intervals. Uh, and uh, so because of that, uh, uh, the temperature if you are measuring continuous values. Uh, observer is required so manually you are operating okay so automatic uh, arrangement is not at all possible as the measurement is based on the light intensity the device can be used only in application with minimum temperatures of 700 degrees celsius so if you are measuring the light intensity so it requires a minimum temperature range is 700 degrees centigrade so below that uh, the visibility is not appear clearly so below that visibility is not appear so this is the reason only up above the 700 degrees temperatures only it measures and continuously to measure uh, so in controlling process so it's manually only are observing okay so automatic process is not at all involving okay so these are the different advantages limitations of optical pyrometer okay so it is clear okay thank you now